I don't know. I, this doesn't really mean, like, I guess just trust myself more or, like, be more confident in my own decisions. Uh, that's all there is to say. Uh. Hi, joining me is Coach Mabry of Immortals. The end of the summer season has come here for your playoff run, for the playoff opportunity. Kind of just, you know, it's been a long split. It's been a long season, a lot of turnover, a lot of losses and learning lessons. I've been on that end with Golden Guardians in 2018, kind of talking through how you feel in, how the guys are feeling, all that stuff after this long journey. Um, hmm. I mean, it, it sucks to go out of playoffs, but um, we, we, I guess we've been losing for a while now, so it doesn't feel like terrible. Um, I don't know. There's not really many words to say. I don't. I don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for 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 our experience, or at least my experience, it, it always felt like. But there's there's a chance. You yeah, know? And, yeah, and it felt like there are moments where you're close. Yeah, that's true. E even in this game here against FlyQuest, although they took an early lead, you guys did a great job stabilizing, and it felt like it felt like there were, there were fights that were there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think in that game specifically, like FlyQuest made a lot of mistakes, we made a lot of mistakes, and it was just a banger game, and it sucks that we were the ones that ended up losing, but I mean, that's just how it goes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, talk me through uh, how the guys are feeling right now. I mean, you know, you, you, Tacticals had a heck of a turnaround and a split, in part due to Treats coming on in, uh, Solo slotting into the roster as well, Kenby having a tough year, Balulu having a you know, maybe kind of getting solved a little bit compared to the last split. Mm -hmm. How are they feeling at the end of this journey right now, just the timbre of the mood of the room? Uh, I mean, everyone's pretty upset right now, obviously, because we lost. But I think looking back on the split, like, especially Eddie, I mean, he's had a huge glow up in summer. He, I mean, I, I know he got a lot of shit previously, but um, he played really well this summer, and I'm, I'm happy to see that at least. When you take a look back at this whole year, this journey that you've taken as a coach, what are some of the big um, growths? growth areas that you've had um i guess just a lot of the things when it comes to working on an org or like with other staff that isn't related just to league i mean this is my first year as a head coach um i was previously always a strategic coach on like smaller scale teams but um i don't know if you follow like the mortals program that much but they brought on like new management with Parth and James they, they hired a bunch of staff and um, I guess like my growth is just working more with management and delegating working with other staff as well because I'm used to like kind of running the show myself or having just me and just one other guy so I definitely had to learn a lot when it came to that. What's a specific example of that from being like the uh, strategic numbers guy to now having to like or orchestrate and run a program? I, I mean, I, I went, like when I was a street coach, it's not just like numbers. I mean, I was just like, I, I could kind of show up on the day, you know, like this is what I want to work on. This is what I think we should focus on. But when there's more staff and more voices involved, um, um, I guess there's just more variables, you know, when it comes to what we should be working on the team, how we can get everyone involved, everyone has a part, that kind of thing. Sure. Uh, when you look back at this uh, 2023 year, what is the biggest thing you're going to remember from this year for you specifically and then for this team? The biggest thing I will remember, like, yeah, like a memory or a learning point or whichever one. <laughs> is it going to be a memory? Is it going to be like, man, we had a lot of learnings. Um, for me, it's get hand guards for your mid laners just in case they punch something. You know, like that was a learning lesson for me back in 2018. I don't know. I, this doesn't really mean like I guess just trust myself more or like be more confident in my own decisions. Uh, that's all there is to say. I, I definitely learned a lot this year. I feel like it's hard to say it right now or like yeah give it obviously one yeah everything's real raw uh just after a, an abrupt stop right yeah uh maybe man i don't want to hold you too long but just thanks for your sharing your thoughts and you know uh i always try to really push the impact of the humanity that is behind every single person that puts it and you know you putting your face on the line and leading the way for uh the immortals organization i think there's always a lot of respect for that so uh, yeah congrats on completing another season and you know i hope that you take the learning lessons from this year and use them to your benefit moving forward mm -hmm. awesome well thank you yeah cheers man hey guys thanks for watching this episode of Degon esports and you know it hasn't always been easy getting my thrills since i'm a one-man band doing everything here so to get my thrills i get them from trolley gummy worms you know they want nothing more 
than for you to bite into their delicious, sour heads and bodies into pieces. Mm. Personally, I like the raspberry blueberry flavor. It's really good. You should go ahead and get your own. Check it out and get the mind warping, tongue twisting, sour thrills only at trolley.com. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, those aren't easy. <laughs> I know they're not easy.